Hello everyone again and welcome back. So this is the second video in the Ethos 1.6.0 series, part 2 of 3, where I will step you through updating your FreeSky receiver to be compatible with the new Ethos 1.6.0 release. If you have not updated your FreeSky X20 radio to 1.6+, plus, please go ahead and do so by referring to the part 1 video which was released earlier. Please check on that. Okay, so then let's first clear up the confusion with all the available FreeSky receiver as there are many. Okay, so let's take a look here and we have all type receiver display here. Let's take a look on the left here. We have the Archer SR6 with stabilizer. Next, we have the Archer Plus SR8 with stabilizer. Okay, and next we have the Twin Series which use long range 2.4. SR12 with stabilizer, twin R8 no stabilizer. Okay, on the right we have the tandem SR18 with stabilizer, and below that is a tandem R6 with no stabilizer. So let's separate out to the left side what receiver don't need the new Lua script package of 3.0 from the Ethos 1.6 update for configuring stabilizer. Obviously, Archer SR6 is ACCSD, the old protocol, so that doesn't apply. Okay. Next, we have the Archer Plus SRA. This is a new access protocol, so it will need the Lua script, the up package of 3.0. The TWRA here is a twin, but no stabilizer, so it's to the left. Okay, here is the twin SR12, and it's applicable to us. And next, we have the Tandem R6. Of, cor of course, no stabilizer, so let's put it to the left and the Tandem SR18, so this applied to us. So on the right side are the type of receiver that will require us to use the new Lua script package 3.0 plus along with the Ethos Radio Firmware 1.6 plus for the new stabilized configuration and calibration if we want to take advantage of all the new goody features such as new VFR telemetry reading, improvement in stabilizer function, fail safe, data safe on the receiver, and so on, then these are the receivers that are applicable on the right side. Whereas on the left side are receivers that we don't need to use the new Lua script package of 3.0 because they are either old protocol or no stabilizer. Okay then, the first step is to create a new model 5 for my F22 free wing. Okay, so I'm going to use SRA of course, uh, Archer Plus series. Okay, so I'm going to power up the radio here and let's just go directly to it. Okay, let's create a new model file here and uh, model select here and all the folder I have under EDL, I'm going to create a new model. Okay, it's going to be airplane and hit next here and I'm going to search, scroll down and look for the Archer Plus SRA which is right there. Okay, and I'll select that and that, that's what it is. And just to double check, that's look exactly like that. Okay, just to be sure. Okay, press next here, and it's gonna be one engine, one channel. For so aileron, it's a Y harness, one channel, and same thing as flap using a Y harness for one channel. Okay, hit next here, and tail is traditional, and elevator. I'm gonna put two channel for now for teleron. I'm gonna set up like that uh, for teleron and rotors one and gain adjust here I'm just gonna use this part here okay and for state mode one stabilizer mode one I'm gonna select this uh, switch here you can switch select whatever switch you like but that's my preference okay and for step mode two I'm gonna select this one okay and I'm gonna hit next here and it's set up everything life so easy on this uh, uh, wizard here so I'm going to name this F22, uh, right here, F22, come on, okay, and I'm no picture for now, and that's what I have. So the wizard helped you to set up all the things, and you can go to the mixer and see what exactly what it is, aileron channel, uh, right down to all the way, and let me see, oh, where's the flap, flap is channel way down there, okay, that's great, so we can move on next now. Okay, on to step number two, which is register and bind the receiver. So let's hit RF system here, okay, and then select internal module and turn on the the, uh, the state here, okay, and we want to 
the SR8 here is an access protocol so let's go down here is on 2.4 gigahertz and let's hit register here okay so uh, I, I need to uh, power up the, uh, the receiver here I'm gonna connect it to here and the trick is basically when you power on you need to hold down the the button on the uh, top of the receiver here to know it is re to register on my thumb I want to hold that I'm gonna reset the power again and turn on the power then that's when it recognized to register so on the radio you hit, hit the register okay and then say registration is okay hit okay and now it's registered and it's flashing red uh, like so and then now you can uh, bind the receiver to SRA plus it's waiting for receiver so uh, the option here is to select bind okay hit bind and it's waiting for receiver and you just reset the power here and it should um, uh, bind the receiver to the radio so I'm just connected again okay here we go and then it's uh, select the device SRA plus which that's what it is I'm gonna select it and the bind is okay so hit okay here now it's green and the receiver SRA is bound to the radio now which is great okay guys step number three is for caution but I recommend it and that is to verify the receiver firmware so go to free sky receiver and select product here and uh, let's go under receiver here and 2.4 gigahertz access and, and that is what we are using right for the SRA Archer Plus so scroll down and I'm gonna look for my Archer Plus series okay and I'm gonna verify it with the SRA so I think it's on top here so right there you go Archer Plus SRA that's what we're gonna be using okay and I'm gonna verify the download and the firmware and that is the firmware that I'm using I need a 3.01 and it read it tell you all the goodies here and everything uh, and make sure that you use 1.60 radio hardware with it right so be sure to do this for your own receiver whatever that you use okay to verify it okay the next step guys is to download the latest Lua script and the receiver firmware and we're gonna need Ito Suite okay so here let's connect uh, let's turn on uh, our radio here and put into bootloader okay and then connect our USB to the radio and in a moment our ethos uh, suite will show the radio information and it's connected right now okay and the radio information is show you all the version that we have which is correct ethos everything is up to date 1.60 okay which is good okay and then RF module is 3.01 is the firmware okay and let's scroll down to the model manager and obviously this is all my uh, you know uh, file so under download center go to receiver and also let's bring up a window explorer and as we can see down here uh, SD card in the radio under firmware directory I had uh, a receiver directory and of course you can name you can manage this folder as whatever you want I just want to be neat and I name 2.4 Archer Plus Archer Siri and you can name whatever you want twin Siri but you know for, for example that's what I did here but under Archer Plus Siri that's where I keep all the firmware for the receiver okay that's the old version so back to Ethos Suite uh, let's go under Access 2.4 and under the Plus Series here and let's scroll down and take a look and find out Archer Plus SRA and here it is and double click that and here it has a download of the latest okay so I'm gonna select remember we uh, we need a 3.01 right so I'm gonna download that firmware receiver and it's gonna download to the uh, I'm gonna go to firmware okay the folder which uh, I showed on the previous one double click that and under receiver and under Archer Plus series and I want to download it and it's download right now and you can see on this uh, window explorer and here it finished download almost here and download successfully okay and just hit okay here 
and go back to the Windows Explorer here and this is where I download it. It's a zip file. I'll, I'll double click to unzip and under the folder I'm going to look for that driver and it shows us the driver is under the SR8 here. Okay, 8 channel and Archer Plus SR8. Okay, and that's where it is. I'm just going to copy this one and put it onto the top folder that I had before. So I'm going to copy here and I'm going to scroll up go up here and I'm going to keep it neat and I'm going to keep it under the Archer Plus series folder which I had okay and this is where it is and it has some old driver also okay I'm going to paste it here and this is the 3.01 that I want so I'm going to go ahead and delete the folder, the zip folder. I don't need it anymore, okay? And I'm going to delete it, the, the folder, okay? And what we have is the Archer 3.01 and then we're going to use this driver here and we're going to use our radio to flash over the air our receiver. Okay, then next, we need to, uh, we need under, okay, under, we've already done this with the receiver. Now we need to download the script, the Lua script in the Lua library here. And under here, they have the stab, stab config. So we need to install this onto our radio here, which is downloading basically. Okay. So under our radio SD card and under script folder, that's where it's going to install under. Right now I have the old calibration uh, file from uh, the uh, last year. So that's not applicable. So uh, we want to download the latest uh, stabilizer configuration which is the 3.02 I believe right now that they have so just hit install here okay and have it download onto our radio so it's gonna take a little bit here and script is install so and the status is done and we can hit close and it's download to our script folder hey guys it is important to note here and that this folder stabilizer config folder here we just download here these are the Lua scripts that will show up in our radio under the system icon and under the device config icon where we will be using to config our stabilizer and calibration of the receiver which I will show you in video number three the third part of the series not in this video okay and we back uh, on our ethos suite and hit ethos here and we can just hit um, let's hit eject drive here and disconnect the USB and after that we'll just uh, make sure we power down the radio to be safe Okay, so step number five, we want to update and flash OTA our receiver with the latest firmware we just downloaded. Okay, so let's power up the radio. So right under here, hit OK. So on our radio here, go to device setting. Okay, and go to file manager here. And under here, there was a firmware folder just like our Windows Explorer that we looked at before. And under the receiver folder, just uh, go to Archer Plus series, okay, and under Archer Plus series, there is the 3.01 driver. We want to flash to our receiver, so click that. And here we have a couple option here uh, by external, internal, okay. But we want flash RX by internal OTA. So select that, and it's waiting for receiver. So we need to uh, power up our receiver here. And I'm going to plug this in through our battery and it's already power up. So I'm just going to plug this in. Okay. And then it pop up select device, which is the SRA plus. So select that. Okay. And it's tell you the old current version. Let's hit yes here. And now it's going to flash with the new version uh, over the air flashing our radio. And it's going to take some time here. And I'm just going to fast forward the video to save us some time. And it should be 90% real quick and 100%. So when it's finished, it should be around like two or three minutes, but I fast forward. So just hit uh, done, close here. Okay. 
and now we're done uh, successfully but we need to uh, bind the receiver again so uh, it's flashing red so we need to bind again so go back here uh, let's go to our um, flight icon here and go to RF system okay and scroll down here and look for the SRA plus it's already registered so just hit SRA plus and waiting for the receiver to bind so uh, we can just select bind and I'm gonna uh, reset the receiver disconnect the power and connect it again okay and it tells you select the device so select that SRA plus and it's bind OK so hit OK here now it's green on the receiver okay which is good now we have the latest uh, SRA plus with the latest OTA flashing of the new firmware okay and everything is good and one more thing we can just go and let's go to device setting here and go to uh, info and under info let's scroll down and our receiver is the version 3.01 which is the latest on the Archer plus SRA so we successfully OTA flash the receiver so in conclusion guys we have now installed the latest Lua script package 3.0 and flash our receiver to the correct latest version to be compatible with our radio version 1.6.0 ethos and we of course we can also verify the connection with the servo here to make sure it's working and so that pretty much wrap up this video number two and be sure to continue viewing the third and final video that I reference on the screen here to calibrate and config the stabilizer on our receiver. Thank you for watching guys and if you find the video helpful, please share, comment with others and subscribe to not miss any great video release in the future. Thank you for watching and happy flying!